Welcome back to Untitled Label, where we strive for greatness through optimization. Before we get into today's video, I do want to take a second to say thank you guys for subscribing and supporting the channel. Definitely helps me grow as a whole, and Untitled Label is definitely getting to bigger and better places. So thank you guys. Uh, again, if you haven't subscribed, make sure you do so. Share this video with someone that might be interested. And with that said, let's get into the video. Untitled Label Clothing, UntitledLabelClothing.com. Uh, if you haven't gone to the website, this is your first time seeing one of my videos, definitely go check it out. Um, I have some cool little uh, apparel and knickknacks that you guys can have and to help support the channel. Uh, looks good, feels good. It's good quality stuff that I personally would wear. I use a lot of my blanks are from the same brand and I'm yeah, let's do it. UntitledLabelClothing.com Today's video is just going to be a brief one. It's going to be about mental dexterity and why that's important to have. So you're probably thinking, where did I even come up with this topic for this video? Um, I was doing a little bit of research, just random thought, Googling, and I came across this um, article by... The, it's called The Power of Mental Dexterity, and it's by Tasha Broomhall. Uh, I kind of read it briefly. I was just looking at certain sections and then it actually hit me like this is actually some really good stuff. So I'm going to post a link to that, uh, to that little article in case you're interested in reading that for yourself. I do recommend if you do like reading about, you know, mind, psychology, stuff like that. Um, she mentions that mental dexterity is about being flexible in your thinking and action and about understanding the control and influence you have on your thoughts and reaction. So that kind of sat well with me because me, a lot of people can be impulsive. Um, I can kind of be impulsive, but with certain aspects of my life, it has gotten a lot better. I've been able to control those things. Um, and I think being able to manage your time, like the videos that I've made about discipline, which again, you guys can check these videos out. I'm just kind of continuing on with different topics here, but it all kind of ties together with being able to achieve um, better things, but in a more realistic manner. Part of the reason why I brought up this article is because she actually has a paragraph on there about, um, let me find it. She has a paragraph in here about how we can increase our thinking to be more realistic. So that's one thing that we can kind of get carried away, I feel like sometimes. We want something to happen for us, but we're not necessarily, it's not realistic, you know? And she mentions that having a trusted partner or someone that you can actually talk to and bounce off ideas is definitely helpful. And it's good to have people in your circle that you can do that with depending on certain topics if you guys share those same interests. So this is a technique I use to kind of make progress but still work on multiple different things at one time uh i have three things that i kind of rotate through that are important for my success one my career uh, as a field service engineer two my first business uh, it's no longer fresh baked goods however it is now called untitled label and three ages garments so these are the three things that I kind of spent a lot of time working on continuously. So by that, I mean, I start the day. Um, I do have, I do allocate enough time for myself as well, but I start the day and I usually check my, uh, my service, my field service engineer uh, job. I'll check my emails, make sure I'm caught up on that aspect. So if everything's good there, I don't have to be at a customer site a little bit later on in the morning. I use the rest of that time to play catch up with Untitled Label. Check my YouTube, see how it's going. Um, check the website as well, check on orders. So I do that in between. And let's say I have to, by then I have to go customer, web, customer site, uh, do my maintenance, do the repair, whatever needs to be done. Uh, I come back home. And then I check emails again, and then I try to focus on Aegis garments if I have anything. Just plain catch up, talking to manufacturing, seeing if there's any updates or if there's anything they need from me. So that's literally the cycle. Um, 
obviously every day isn't the same, but you do have to play, you don't really, it's a good way to maximize your time. You're able to just do more with the thought processes that you have. Uh, it becomes more organized and you can kind of, you notice things that you didn't before, which in turn, it just makes you, your brain perform better, just to simply put. So it is kind of a big sacrifice because you do miss out on current events, current things that are going on. However, you are putting your 100% effort into yourself, your business, something that you're going to hopefully could re mean you can retire. You can then not work and just enjoy the things that you weren't able to get to do. Um, the reason why this is significant to, to me is I'm kind of experiencing this now in life. Uh, this might be a late midlife crisis, but a lot of the things I wasn't able to complete or get done as a kid growing up, I am now in a position to where I can do those things. Uh, what does that mean? I am going to do them to my full potential. Uh, I remember back in college, for example, Fresh Baked Goods, it was actually starting to gain a little bit of traction, but I kind of didn't have the necessary means, the time to invest to get it to continue to grow and grow. However, now I'm in a better position in life and I can actually grow this business to its full potential that I know it can be. So that's how I look at all the three different aspects. My career, I'm going to continue to do well. I'm going to learn a lot as I go. Uh, Untitled Label is going to become a big brand, um, kind of going towards my own thing, my own vibe, but it's going to be a big brand. And Aegis Garments are going to be a conglomerate, <laughs> easily said. Uh, another thing that she mentions in this article is overgeneralization. So that can be like, she also goes in to say that you take a negative and then you start to assume that it always happens, but you're overgeneralizing. So you can kind of, it makes you just more aware of your thought process and things that you actually experience. And then it kind of gives you ways to hone in on those things and improve it. And through doing that, you're better able, you're better adapted. Um, again, tying back into mental dexterity, you're able to control your mind in a less impulsive manner, per se. So that's all I really have. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you like, let me know your best part. Do you agree with what I'm talking about or am I just wet? Uh, I do appreciate you guys taking your time. Don't forget to share. And uh, with that said, I'll catch you on the next one. Wait, this is the end of the video.